Just to have your thoughts on, uh, on the situation today. How do you um, feel that? Uh, the situation is very obvious. Um, the Ministry of Interior unleashed all the thugs to destroy the cities. Uh, so people would say that they still need the regime. We don't want the regime. We want either a constitutional amendment or something that says that the next president of Egypt will be chosen by the people. Uh, when we say we don't want the regime, it doesn't mean we don't want Hosni Mubarak as a person and, uh, and be stuck with someone else who's imposed on us. We want to choose our president because we want to take this country uh, into the future. Uh, tomorrow there is talk of a million men March. Uh, oh yeah, everybody's coming. I'm uh, coming for sure and everybody I know is coming and we're going to uh, keep demonstrating uh, peacefully. Uh, even if we get attacked by the police forces, we are peaceful and we're going to uh, keep on protesting peacefully until our demands are met. There is talk of um the authorities closing the roads into Cairo. The Egyptian youth are protecting their own homes. They are coming together and they are uniting. And everybody is coming together to uh, protect their areas and their homes. We don't need uh, the thugs of the police force to protect uh, our own homes. We have proven that uh, we can keep this country uh, safe from uh, the harm of, uh, that they cause for us. And uh, we have prove, uh, proven that we can take this country forward. People are cleaning the streets. The scouts are cleaning the, the streets. We want to keep this country safe. They want to destroy it. So we're not going anywhere until our demands are met. So you think whatever they do tomorrow to stop people from coming to Cairo? We are really work? hoping that uh, that we what we've been hearing about the, the police force not interacting with the peaceful protesters, we hope that is true. We will be peaceful all the way and they need to respect that and let us protest peacefully. What has been the effect of uh, shutting down the internet? Do you think it has slowed down? Apparently, uh, the effect, uh, uh, it had an uh, opposite effect because people really did depend on the internet and it was uh, uh, an unprovoked unpro uh, thing from uh, from the government to do. Uh, and even though they shut down the internet, this uh, is not just a Facebook revolution or an internet revolution. Uh, have, as you've seen, yani, hundreds of thousands of people in the street, even though the phones were, were even the phone lines were shut on Friday, and people still came, uh, came out and demonstrated because this is not about uh, the internet, this is about the needs and the demands of the Egyptian people. Are you uh, afraid that they might do something to stop it? Um, they tried and they couldn't and it's either they let us protest peacefully uh, or else people are going to stick by their word and stick by their demand and not be broken up because we have had it and it's either they answer our demands or we are not leaving this square no matter what. Is there a, a compromise that people would accept? Or something that Mubarak might do? To... The only compromise people would accept is that if, uh, if there's a guarantee that the next president of Egypt will be chosen by the people. But you would accept like a transition period if you uh, promise that? It needs a transition period. There's no way this would happen without a transition period. Okay. Alright. Thank, Thank you. you. Could I just take your name down? Yeah.